So welcome everyone to day three of this five-day series, Chair Yoga for Building Leg Strength. So the focus of this five-day series, as I said in the other two classes so far, is for preparing to stand. So moving from the seated classes, the fully seated classes, to the standing with the chair classes. So we're focusing on increasing leg strength and as we're doing the postures today, really focus on the more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. Really try to focus on pressing down pads of your toes, your heels, and engaging your thighs, engaging your hip and leg muscles as we're doing certain poses, especially chair pose and variations of chair pose. Wherever we're pressing down and can lean some weight into our feet. Right? Even if you think almost like you're trying to press down like you're going to try to stand up. Pressing down without much strength so you feel the muscles engage. So let's begin. Feet flat on the floor, hands resting on your knees, and let's get started. begin by letting the eyes softly close. And just allow your body to breathe on its own. Try to let go of anything before the practice. And just focusing on the natural movement of your breath in your body. Allow your abdomen to soften and move with your breath, trying to use more of your abdomen than your chest. Then begin to intentionally deepen your breath in your abdomen, expanding out to the sides a bit, the front, even the back of the body, and downward towards the seat. Exhale completely. And take a few breaths like that, expanding evenly in all directions like a balloon. Inhale, begin down in your abdomen, come up to the ribs, expanding your ribs out towards the sides and up towards your armpits. And exhale completely. Take a few breaths, blending those two movements together. So beginning in your abdomen, come up to your ribs. Exhale and relax the ribs inward, soften the abdomen. Inhale, begin down in the abdomen and come all the way up to your chest. Deep breath. Exhale completely. And take a few breaths like that, blending all three parts together. Deep breath. And just one clarification about the breath. We take a few deep breaths in the beginning just to expand and maximize the lung space, right? Breathe more deeply than we normally do. Then once we start the practice, try to let go of the chest so much and focus more on breathing down into your abdomen and your rib area with a natural breath. So a little bit more deeply than usual, but you don't have to take a maximum breath throughout. We just do that during the breathing exercise portion, then come to a Deeper, deeper breath than normal, using your diaphragm, your abdomen, your rib area, primarily, okay? If you like, you can begin with a gentle constriction in your throat, just so you can hear the sound of your own breathing. Inhale, lengthen your neck, reaching the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Relax your shoulders down, and exhale, Bring your chin over towards your left shoulder, trying to keep your shoulders where they are, just rotating from the base of your neck. Lengthen your neck throughout. Try not to twist from the back of your head. Inhale, turn forward. And exhale, look towards your right. 
Draw down your back, relax your neck. Move from base of your neck. Inhale forward. And exhale left. Inhale forward. Exhale right. Inhale forward. One more time each side with your own breath. Inhale forward. Exhale, drop your chin down to your chest. Draw your chin in towards your collarbones. Lengthen the back of your neck. Inhale, roll the left ear over towards left shoulder. Soften right shoulder down towards hip. Exhale, roll the chin down to your chest. Inhale, right ear towards right shoulder. Soften left shoulder down. Exhale, down to your chest. And continue alternating sides with your own breath at your own pace. Last time to your right. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together overhead, lift your heart, look up at hands if that's comfortable. Exhale, bring your right hand to the right side of your chair, reach over towards your left, lengthening more than bending, reaching your fingers up away from your head. Inhale, bring left hand to left side, right hand up. And exhale over towards your left. Again, you can grasp the base of the chair or you can put your hand on the front leg of the chair. Continue with your breath. Try to use the hand just for guidance, keeping the weight down in your seat. If there's space at the end of the bend, reaching up towards ceiling, lengthening, but also rotating your ribs open a bit towards the side. Not twisting the body, but just rolling your ribs open. Trying not to let your shoulder drop forward. One more time. Inhale, bring your palms together, lift your heart, look up at hands if comfortable. Exhale, fold forward. Option one, you can bring elbows to your knees or hands down to the ground. Inhale, elbows to knees, lengthen your spine, lift your chest a bit. Exhale, fold. Inhale, interlace your hands, fingers around your left knee, and exhale, bring your torso upright, draw your knee into your chest, lift your heart still. Inhale, bring your leg down, and exhale, fold. Inhale, hands around right knee, come upright, bring your knee with you, open your chest. Exhale, drawing in. Inhale, leg down. Exhale, fold. Continue with your breath. Inhale, hands around your left knee. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, leg to ground. Exhale, fold. Inhale, around right knee. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, to the ground. Exhale, fold. One more time each side with your own breath, exhaling as you draw the thigh in, exhaling as you fold. Move at your own pace. Remember, you can always move a bit faster, a bit slower, do a few more repetitions, few less, but go by your breath. Inhale, elbows to knees, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale to your heart. Have yourself slid up on the chair a bit so that you feel like your hips are free to move, legs are free to move side to side. 
Press your feet firmly down into the ground. Have your ankles under your knees. Draw the space below your navel and towards your spine, like you're trying to engage below your navel. And really press your sitting bones down into the chair. Press down strongly through the pads of your toes and heels. Engage tops of your thighs, like you're shifting some of your weight forward. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart, hinge forward, chair pose. Inhale, bring your torso upright. This time we're gonna rotate and twist, so just go as far as comfortable for you. Exhale, hinge forward, chair pose, feel the weight shift to your feet and thighs engage. Then rotate towards your right. Draw down your back, lift your heart. Try to rotate from above your hips, between hips and ribs, rather than low back. Inhale, forward, bring your torso upright. Exhale, hinge forward, shift the weight to the feet, press into the feet, engage the thighs, and rotate towards your left. Inhale forward, come upright. Exhale forward, rotate right. Inhale, face forward, come up. Exhale, hinge forward, rotate left. And with your breath, one more time each direction. Make sure when you fold forward, try to hinge from below your buttocks rather than from your low back. Crease below your buttocks. Inhale, turn forward, come upright, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, elbows to knees, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands around left knee, exhale, draw your knee into your chest. Inhale, foot to ground. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands around right knee. Exhale, draw the knee in. Inhale, fight foot to ground. Exhale, fold and we'll hold here. So take the option, elbows to knees or hands to ground. That works for you. Relax the back of your neck and breathe deeply. Focus on using your breath to stretch the body from the inside, intentionally expanding in the back of the body. Feel the change in the sensation of the stretch along the sides of your spine. And keep consciously softening against that expansion. Breathe. Inhale, come all the way up, palms together overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Then bring your right foot straight out, heel on the ground, drawing your toes back towards your shin. Inhale, arms overhead. Feel free to have a slight bend in your right knee if there's any sharpness around your knee. Focus on the crease below your buttocks, the thicker part of your thigh. Exhale, begin to hinge forward until you feel a sensation of stretch at the top of the back of your thigh. Lift your heart still. Inhale, come up, arm overhead. Exhale, hinge forward, just until you feel the stretch. Below the buttocks, really press into your left foot. Feel that thigh engage. Take the weight of the body with your legs. Inhale up, arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward, press into your left foot strongly. Inhale up, last time. Exhale, hands to your heart, hinge forward, breathing here. Eyes steady, gazing at your big toe, breathe deep. Press down through your left foot, feel your thigh take the weight, feel your thigh engage, breathe. Inhale, come up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart to bring your right foot flat on the floor. Bring your left foot out. Draw your toes back towards your shin. 
Again, you can bend your knee slightly if there's any sharpness around your knee. Fold from below your buttocks, lift your chest, breathe, inhale overhead, exhale, hinge forward, just until you begin to feel stretched, press down firmly through your right foot. You can have your foot back on the toes if you prefer that, but still try to feel your thigh engage. I try to have my ankle under my knee as much as possible, breathing here. So that way you feel like you're pressing down the whole foot, just like you would be when you're standing. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward from below buttocks until you feel the stretch. Shift your weight to your foot. Inhale, arms overhead, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, weight to your right foot. One more time and we'll hold here. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Breathe here. Really press down with pads of toes and heel. Feel your thigh engage. Draw the space below your navel in towards your, in towards your spine a bit, like you're trying to engage below the navel. Inhale, come up, arms overhead. Exhale, bring hands to your heart. Bring left foot flat on the floor. Bring your hands to your legs. And then we're going to shift over towards the right side of the chair. So come over towards the right side where your seat is still firmly on the chair. And rotate so that you have the corner of the chair between the legs, right between the two knees. So it's like... 90 degrees to each other, the knees, and the corner is right between. Slide towards the edge where you still feel planted on the chair, sitting bones firmly on the chair, but you feel again like your knees are free to move, your hips are free to move. Bring just your right leg straight out, again on the heel, drawing your toes back towards your shin. Inhale, press into your left foot strongly. Feel this thigh engage already. That's what we're really focusing on in this class, this practice. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together, rotate towards your foot. And exhale, hands to heart, begin to fold down towards your leg. Just as much as you can where the weight is still in the seat, but you feel your thigh engage. Option to bring your hands around to the chair as we do this, if that feels better for you. Inhale, come up, arms overhead. Remember, it's always important to have a yoga mat under your chair so the chair doesn't slide. Exhale, hands to heart, fold forward. Option to bring hands to chair. One more time, inhale up, exhale, fold. We'll hold here, breathing. Press down into your left foot, feel your thigh engaging. Breathe deep. Inhale, come up, bring your hands to the chair, bring your right foot on the floor, and slide right over to the other side. Rotate towards the corner of the chair. So again, your knees are about 90 degrees to each other, and the corner is between the two knees. Bring your left foot straight out, draw your toes back towards your shin. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Rotate towards your left foot and exhale, hinge forward, hands to your heart or hands to your chair. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward, just until you feel the stretch. One more with your own breath. Remember, if there's any discomfort or you feel the chair pressing into the thigh strongly, then shift, shift forward a little bit more to the side so you feel it's in the crease below your buttocks. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold and hold this time, either hands to chair or hands to heart. But really press down into your right thigh, your right foot, so you feel your thigh engaging. Breathe. Eyes steadily locked on your big toe.
Inhale, come up, arms overhead. Exhale, bring hands to heart. Left foot flat on the floor, rotate towards the front. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead, palms together. And exhale, fold forward, either elbows to knees or hands to ground. Inhale, hands around your left knee. Exhale, draw your knee in. Inhale, foot to ground. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands around right knee. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, foot to ground. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands around left knee. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, foot to ground. Fold forward. Inhale, hands around right knee. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, foot to ground. Exhale, fold. And one more time, each side with your own breath at your own pace. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart, shift forward to your feet, chair pose. Shift forward until you feel your thighs engage. Inhale, come up, arms overhead or hands at your heart. Exhale, hands to heart, hinge forward, shift the weight to your feet, really press down through the feet. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. One more time. Exhale, hinge forward. We'll hold here. Press down pads of toes and heels strongly into ground. Breathe. Inhale, come up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands down to your knees. Slide back on the chair just a little bit. Have your ankles under your knees still. Inhale, bring hands to tops of your thighs. Draw your shoulder blades down your back and lift your heart. Drop your head back, open your chest. Exhale, hands to knees, round your back, drop your head. Inhale, hands to tops of thighs, lift your heart, drop your head back. Exhale, hands to knees, round your back, drop your head, spread your shoulder blades apart. And continue with your breath two more times in each direction. Inhale, bring your head up, palms together overhead. Walk your feet out wide angle, a little bit wider than the legs of your chair, toes pointing out to the sides about 45 degrees. Exhale, fold forward, either elbows to your knees or hands down to the ground. Relax the back of your neck. And breathing here, deep breaths. Feeling the movement of the breath in the back of your body. Intentionally expanding and spreading the upper back. Pressing through your feet, feeling your thighs engage a bit. Support your body with your feet and your thighs. Feel like you're softening all the long sides of your spine.
Inhale, slowly come up, palms together overhead. Exhale, bring hands to your heart, feet hip distance apart, and slide to the back of the chair. We'll come to Shavasana, a final relaxation. So let your back rest against the chair. You can keep your ankles under your knees or let your feet slide out, letting your legs and thighs relax onto the chair. Bring your hands, either palms up or palms down on your thighs, or rest your hands in your lap, one on top of the other, and then let the eyes softly close. And just begin by feeling your breath, letting go of that full, deeper breath, and just let your body breathe on its own, however it happens naturally. Just relax your forehead. Soften all around your eyes and eyebrows. Like you're letting your eyes relax back into the head. Just letting go of looking outward, looking outside. Bringing all your attention within your skin. Focusing more on feeling. And then relax your neck. Soften your shoulders. Let the arms completely soften in your lap. Soften your upper back and chest. Your middle back and solar plexus area around your ribs. Soften your hips into the chair, your low back and abdomen. Relax the deep hip muscles, feeling as deeply into the hip creases as you can. Soften your thighs, your knees, your calf muscles, and ankles and feet. And just feel your body breathing on its own. Feel the movement of the breath, but also be aware of whatever sensations you feel, whatever emotions you notice, feelings you notice. And just let everything flow, observing it, letting everything move as it wants to. Just like there's no control of the breath, try to let there be no control of what you feel. Just allow yourself to feel whatever you feel. And looking at it just like your breath, impartially, there's no right or wrong, better or worse. There's no way you should feel. Whatever you feel is okay. And just staying with this for a few moments, observing the breath observing the sensations in the body. If your mind wanders and you get caught in thought, just come back to the breath. Focus on what you feel rather than what you think.
and then bring your attention back out to your skin. And when you feel ready, begin to slowly deepen your breath. If you feel ready to move, making small movements with your hands and your feet. Moving your head side to side. And when you feel ready, opening your eyes. So thank you all for practicing with me today. And if you have any questions about today's class or any class so far, feel free to comment and I'll get back to you. If you have any series you'd like to see, any specific videos, anything you're working on in your body, then feel free to let me know and I'll see if I can make a class on it, okay? Pretty soon we'll have the chair yoga teacher training coming up, so if you're interested in that, I'll, uh, I'll be giving you more information about that soon, okay? And also the 30 days of chair yoga, the seated to standing version, will start in January. So until next time, take care and I'll see you then.